this is John Hansen, three-time Natural Mr. Universe at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida for criticalbench.com. I want to talk about tr arm training frequency. How many times should you train your arms? One thing you have to remember is that the arms are a small muscle group. The biceps and triceps are relatively small muscles compared to bigger muscle groups like the chest or the back or the legs or even the shoulders. So you don't want to overtrain them or train them too often. Another thing to remember is when you train those bigger muscle groups like the chest or the shoulders or the back, you're also training your arms. For example, when you do a bench press for your chest, you're not only working your chest, but you're also working the front part of your shoulders and you're working your triceps. And then when you work your shoulders and you do a pressing movement for the shoulders like a barbell press or a dumbbell press, you're not only working the shoulders, you're also working again the triceps. So the triceps are working very hard when, it, when you ever do any compound exercise for the chest or the shoulders. So you have to keep that in mind. Also with the biceps, whenever you do a back training exercise, you're also working the biceps very hard. When you do a chin up, when you do a barbell row, when you do a dumbbell row, the biceps are working just as hard as the back. So keep this in mind when you're thinking about how often to train your arms. You don't want to train your arms too often, and you don't want to do too many sets for the arms because those arms are being worked for so many other muscle groups, and the arms are pretty small muscle groups. One tip I have when training my arms is I'll usually train my triceps after I train chest, and I'll train my biceps after I train back. And this way, the triceps are already warmed up for my chest workout, just like my biceps are already warmed up for my back workout. So this way I'm not overtraining those muscles because those muscles are being used already with the larger muscle groups. So when I go to work the smaller muscle groups, the arm muscles, I don't have to do as many sets because they've already been worked with the bigger muscle groups. One mistake I see some people make is they'll train their biceps on one day and the next day they'll come in and they'll train their back. Or they'll train their triceps on one day and the next day they'll do their chest or their shoulders. You have to remember those smaller muscle groups are being used when you're training those larger muscle groups. You have to be smart when you group those muscles in the order that you're training them each week. I always train my chest first, and then I train my triceps, and then I'll do shoulders a couple days later so to give them this rest. Same thing with the back and biceps. I always train my back and biceps together, so I'm making sure I'm not overtraining those smaller arm muscles. I hope you found that helpful with your arm training. I've got something else for you, a free report. It's called the seven worst testosterone killers. All you gotta do is click this box here to get this free report. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click this box, so you, please check the video description below. Just click on the top link, the seven worst testosterone killers, to get this free report. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave some comments or questions for us.